Hello and welcome back. This is problem O matching in our series for solutions for the contest at Coder Educational DP. Let's go over the problem statement. There are n men and n women numbered from 1 to n, and uh, for each ij, which is pairing between uh, the node mm, between the men and women. So man i and man j we are given an integer e of ij which is a matrix and if e of ij is 1 that means uh, those corresponding i and j are compatible and if it is 0 then they are not this is the meaning of the matrix that is given to us in the question and essentially tarot is trying to make n pairs is consisting of a man and a woman or compatible obviously uh, one man and woman much must belong to exactly one pair so this is a one to one mapping so say there are these many men and the same number of women now we need to match them up and no man or woman can be matched in multiple pairs so all of them will be used up in the pairing exactly once and there will be n pairings so three pairs are possible in this case and this is only possible so this is only possible if the e of i g for that pair is one according to the constraint that is given in the question so we need to find the number of ways total number of ways in which such pairings all possible pairings are Mm, basically available according to the constraint that are given and notice that n is fairly small and only up to 21 and the matrix will have size of n by n now um, let's go over some of the observations it is clear that we need to map the nodes there there are basically two n nodes that we need to match So we can uh, what construction can we start with right so we need to start with the pairing from some man let's say we start at the man number one and we can connect it or pair him up with any uh, let's say we pair him up with three right next we try to pair up man with index 2 now uh, two can pair up one had choices from 1 to all up all the way up to n because uh, none of them were already chosen two will have only the choices from the initial set and uh, it will exclude the choices that were made by uh, the first man and let's say Two is paired up with two itself. In that case, when we try to pair up the man with index three, then we will have two choices less for him. So three was used up and two was used up. Hence, he will only have uh, n minus two choices available to him, and so on. We will have a cho only one choice for the man with index n so this is how we are going to perform the construction and this can be done recursively so let's try to understand how we are going to implement this so one thing is obvious that we need to store the id for the man that we are going to pair up currently so let let's say f is the function that is going to return us the total number of ways of coloring uh, sorry not coloring pairing up all the n pairs of men and women so we start with index id and we also need to know what all available uh, indexes are there which are not chosen so we can basically uh, mark them or store them in terms of this set so this set is what we need to exclude the search for Pairing up the index ID. So we will 
store a parameter here which denotes already used up indexes as you I used IDs so this will contain a set and we need to exclude the search from them and now we can pair up ID with any ID from these which is outside of this used up IDs so we saw in this example for 3 we will have f of 3 and used will be uh, in this case so it had only choices it needs to exclude the nodes 2 and 3 from the search hence the number of ways to pair the man with index 3 would be um, with 1 uh, four six uh, one four five six and so on so it would be one sorry not here it would be but to move on to the next one so we are going to pair up one by one so we are pairing up the man with index id and after it is paired we are going to pair up the man with index id plus one so this will be id plus one four and this set would be let's say we paired 3 with 1, 3 is paired with 1 or 3 is paired, it cannot be paired up with 2 because 2 is already paired, it cannot be paired up with 3, it can be paired up with 4, 5 and up to n. So it, if 1 is paired then it will be considered as used and we will add it in the set or can be paired up with 4 in that case the used set would be 2 3 and 4 and so on this will be computed for all the included indexes so the main idea is to store these two parameters as mentioned in this recurrence this is the index of the man for which we are pairing up so we are pairing up for the ith and, and there are some indices which are already used by uh, the pairings which happened in this indices for men right so this is for men and this is for women and used will basically store the set of all the indices which were paired up already for previous indices here so let's say for this green regions these are already used up and we need to pair ith man with uh, any jth woman so that they are also compatible it is also important that they are compatible so this is the condition for that and we also need to make sure that it is not used so this index should not be marked as green in this set right it should be blue according to this so this means that it is already used somewhere and for all of them we need to basically change the used to used test the used will be added the pairing that we are going to perform and this will essentially be assigned to dash for the next state which is pairing up for the i plus one at man so this is the main recursive function that we need to form so this uh, the main implementation in the main implementation we are going to store this used as a bit mask A bit mask is any binary representation of a number so essentially we are storing the used variable as a stay as a set of integers so let's say it was one two three seven ten but the bit mask will store it like this suppose we are having uh, let 
Let's, for simplicity, let's say there are small integers here. Say we only have up to five, and this is the index for the bit mask. So one zero one two three four five and six. This is essentially this will be set whenever the number contains the power two to the with power this will be set whenever they contains 2 raised to 3 in the binary representation of the mask so this will be the mask for which we are going to state store the used indexes which you saw here now to understand this we uh, for this set the corresponding bits that will be set will be this position this one this one and this one all the rest of them will be zero and two uh, so this ones are the used ones this is denoted by u and all the zero wherever there is a zero uh, it means that they are not used and we can pair any ith man with a non-used bit mask position from this mask that we're storing in the state of the recursive function so this is essentially a bit mask and it will have a size of 2 rest when the integers can be bounded by this range and since n is only up to 21 the question so this will provide us a complexity of order and for the first state to rest in for the second state and the transitions will take n time as well so this is in all n square to rest n time solution let's go for the implementation okay this is the compatibility array that is given to us in the question this is the ep d array first for the index id and second for the mask as i told there the mask is bounded by 2 rest n so this is the value 2 rest n for that state okay we need to initialize dp then we will input the compatibility and we will start um, the matching with index 0 so for the implementation i have based i have used zero based indexing So let's say for n equals to 4, we will have 0, 1, 2, 3 indices of men and women. And we are going to start pairing up from index id equals to 0. And essentially, uh, at first, the all of the indices for women are not chosen. So all of them will be unset in this mask. So all this position would be zero meaning that one can uh, index zero can pair up with any of these it can pair it has four choices for pairing up with any now let's see what this function does we are storing the index the man that we are currently pairing up with and taken is the mask of size two rest n and whenever we have paired up all the Men, which is arriving at index n we we have found out one way to make all the pairs so this is uh, accounted into the answer and return and else we check the check whether we, this state is already visited if it is visited we can return the answer from there else we count the number of ways for this state this will be done by iterating over all the positions that are available so we check whether that bit is not set and that was bit mask so let's say the taken was 0 1 0 0 1 this means that this is position 0 1 2 3 and 4 and let's say for i equals to 3 we are taking we are basically shifting this mask to the right by i times so i equals to 3 so whenever this is shifted to the right three times which means this will be eliminated this will be eliminated this will be eliminated so this is shifted three times and the only thing that will be remained in this term will be 
this value after shifting it right three times right so if we shift this mask three times to the right we will know the value of the ith bit in that mask so we arrive at this we just check what is the parity of the last element so we take and with one so uh, this will return what is the bit at that corresponding position this can also be done by so if you want to know what is the ith bit in mask we can simply uh, perform the bitwise and operation between the mask and the to the power ith power of 2 and check what is this value it is either 0 or 1 this will be the this will essentially give us the same result so we check whether they are compatible if they are compatible we will move on to the next state which is pairing up for index id plus 1 and this is updated in the taken mask so if it was 0 earlier at let's say this position then for index id this was the taken mask and then for index id plus one the mask would be zero zero one 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 because this was already used up for a man with index id and cannot be used up further so this is how the entire algorithm is going to look like and we are going to return the final number of ways from there so that's it about this solution do let me know if you have found this useful or if you have any doubts or comments let me know thank you